flamethrowers, saws, hammers, sledgehammers, lots of tools of destruction. In the distant future, the most extreme competitions will be waged by heartless and unstoppable robots, right? Well, the future is now. Our next extreme competition takes us to San Francisco, California for the world's largest fighting robot deathmatch, the Robo Games. Robo Games is, is the biggest, baddest, most extreme competition out there. Oh. Once it gets into your blood, you're hooked. Woo! It's an adrenaline rush beyond belief. It's fight to the death. They're full of destruction and they, they just want to kill each other. Each year, the Robo Games brings together 5,000 Android enthusiasts a day to watch more than 50 cyber battles. But we're here for the heavyweight combat division, where 300-pound remote-controlled machines go sprocket to sprocket, and only one bot leaves the field intact. And these are the big 220-pound type robots that breathe fire and can absolutely cut a person in half. They're so powerful. There's explosions and things set on fire and little bits of metal go flying. And you've got fuel injections that would sear your hair off. Lucky for you, the 40 by 40 foot arena is surrounded by a bulletproof Lexan cage that protects the frail humans from the heat of battle. So let's meet the Hardware Gladiators. This is Counter Revolution, and uh, it's a play on words. Because we have two weapons that um, counter revolve, they counter rotate. This is our robot sewer snake. Basically, the front end is a lifting wedge, and the back is a lifter also. So I throw them and flip them over. It's the classic throwdown. Buzzsaw versus forklift. Contestants spend up to $100,000 to design and build these deadly droids out of aircraft-grade aluminum, steel, and even bulletproof Kevlar. And their weapons can be anything from flamethrowers to buzzsaws to catapults. The bots have entered the arena. The operators man their remotes and Sewer Snake wastes no time moving in for the kill. There are two ways to win. Either score the most points for aggression and amount of damage inflicted, or if you're feeling really nasty, simply reduce your opponent to a bucket bot. What's that? You have to bring a bucket into the arena to put all your robot parts back into it because it's just too carved up. Ooh, somebody get a bucket because Counter-Revolution is about to get snaked. Sewer Snake has slain his opponent and advances to the next round. And he's up against a true monster. The name is Last Rites. This 220-pound steel-hulled killing machine is one of the fiercest robots known to mankind. Or that's what its owner says anyway. I, I clearly have the biggest weapon of anybody that showed up here. I, I don't even turn it on in my driveway. It scares the crap out of me. The spinning weapon on this weighs in at about 75 pounds and spins at about 2,500 RPM. I would be able to rip up just about any car anybody drove here today with it. It's on like Tron, so let the ultimate cyber war commence. Sewer Snake comes out swinging. But ouch, 10 seconds into the match, Last Rites has handily ripped off three of its wheels. With just one wheel remaining, Sewer Snake makes a last-ditch effort to flip Last Rites on its back, but the clock is running out. Terrible driving. Completely terrible driving. We are the robot champions! 
when we return. The most insane striptease contest on the planet. Miss California, the pageantry, she ain't got nothing on this. When extreme